Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware and today we're going to be making a little dire wolf. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Candice or better known as Candyware and if you are coming back, thank you so much for coming. So like I had mentioned, we've got this cute little dire wolf that we're making and this is a uh, something that my uh, husband actually asked me to make so um, with the next season of Game of Thrones happening I thought it would be kind of cute to do something Game of Thrones related and he suggested to do one of the dire wolves so I picked Grey Wolf and this is Rob Stark's um, wolf. Oh! Blaze is here! Here he is! Everyone always asks to see what he looks like, so here is my ragamuffin kitty. I actually have a video on all of my animals <laughs> if you want to go see that. But anyways, so um, super super cute. Um, I, I think he's alright looking. My husband seems to think that he looks a little bit cuter than I do, so I have given this little cute wolf to him. And, uh, and so... Um, it's pretty simple to make. This time I decided, this is actually the first time I've used acrylic paint on top of a solid uh, little um, item, which I've never done before. Usually I end up using um, just more Fimo on top of to create different color variation, but since there was only three tones, decided to go completely gray and then add in the other little items. Um, but yeah, so Please don't forget to click on the little bell, that'll help you keep up to date on what's going on with Candyware. Um, please don't forget to leave a like, that really helps me out with my videos. Also, I would love to hear comments from all of my viewers. It really means the world to me to hear from you guys, so uh, tell me maybe um, what you're enjoying from Game of Thrones. I like to wait until the season comes out on Blu-ray to tell you the truth. So I don't know anything from season seven yet, so shh. But, um, but yeah, so um, please go check out Candyware uh, on Etsy. Anything you guys end up purchasing really helps me out keep this channel going. And um, yeah, let's get right on to the DIY. So here are all the tools, and find a link to the kit below on, on all the items. So first we're going to be starting with some gray clay, and we're going to be starting with the face, and I just decided to start with a little round ball, and I would pull out two points, and this is the tufts on the side of uh, Grey Wolf's face. Once we've done that, we're going to move on to uh, working on uh, the ears. So we're going to be making two little small balls and then making, taking one of them and making it into a triangle and then using either um, a tool like what I have there or even just a toothpick to add in a little indent. Then we're going to be placing that on top of its head. Just make sure you're happy with the placement. I thought putting them closer together would make them look cuter. So I'm just uh, making sure that they're secured well and just closing up any little gaps. From there we're going to be moving on to the body, so I'm just taking a, a little bit bigger piece of clay and we're going to be rolling it into a cylinder. From there we're going to be making a long snake. And we're going to be cutting out little small pieces, and this is going to be Grey Wolf's feet. So you want four of them. And then you're just going to round out one end, and then you're going to be placing that onto the body. Then 
Once you're done that, you're just going to be taking either uh, your clay tool like this one or your toothpick and you're just going to be making sure that you don't really see the edge. That's just the way I prefer to make them look. So you're just going to roll it down over top of the foot just lightly. Now we're going to be making the tail, so we're going to be taking a little bit more clay and making one side a little bit thinner than the other, and that's the part that's attached to the body. So you're just going to place that where it goes and just smooth it out just a touch. From there we're going to be placing on the head. And then it's time to cook according to your clay's instructions once you've added in the head pin. From there we're going to be taking a super small um, paintbrush and taking some white paint and we're just going to be painting in the areas that need to be white. So the areas that I decided would be inside the ears. Down the chest, the muzzle, the bottoms of the feet, kind of makes it look like he's wearing slippers. So do you have a favorite dire wolf? I would love to know. Leave a comment in the description but, or down below so I can know what do you guys think. So again, the rest of the feet. Uh, a little bit for the eyebrow area. And then also the back of the body and the tail. You can go in with a toothpick and clean up any little areas that are, have imperfections. You just want to dip it in some rubbing alcohol and then just wipe, on, wipe off the areas you're not so happy with. Now we're going to be taking a dotting tool and add some black paint to it. And then we're just going to add on the two little dots for the eyes. And not to worry if the first attempt isn't so great, you can go back in. And then we're going to be doing the little nose, and then also we're going in with the mouth. So now I've moved on to using a needle tool so we can really get the mouth in there. So you're going to let that dry, and then once that's dry, you're going to go in with some gloss. I like to use the Sculpey gloss, and we're going to be adding that all over the body. Now once that's dry, we're going to be taking our pliers and we're going to be making a loop then pulling out your other pliers and taking your other pliers to wrap around. And we're just going to keep going. This can be a little tedious when there are a lot of points like this to go around. And now we're just going to cut off the excess. And there's your little dire wolf. Thanks so much for crafting with me everyone, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on next week's Crafty Friday video. Bye!